Uh, yeah, and it's a lovely, funny, romantic comedy. Oh, that's very nice. Do you play the lead opposite Annie McDowell? Yes, that's right, yes. Is uh, that intimidating? Uh, yes, I can't pretend it wasn't. Um, no, you, know, you can't. She, she's, a, she's, a, she's a big star. and um, She is. Uh, you, you know, and also just too, too beautiful, really. And, um, uh -huh. But I did catch her dribbling um, once. Ex excuse me? <laughs> is that some sort of English term for something? <laughs> no, she was, you know, she was drinking tea one day, and um, to my delight, I, I saw it all trickling down her chin here. Really? So I suppose she's... You? I, I can do that. <laughs> do, you, do you think I'm silly? <laughs> I don't know why I just poured water on my crotch. I really don't. And yet I like it. All right. Did you have a clip with you? What, what do you mean, a clip? A clip from your movie? It's an American oh, yes, term, yes. meaning a segment. Yes, yes, play it. Oh, don't, no, you know don't, what that don't, means? Don't do all that business. It's clip time! Come on! Put on your hat. Put on your hat. Put it on. Go on now. All right, here we go. That's a fun. See? That's the time. You know what? Hey, they're gone. It's a very special British clip time. Yes. Popcorn? Um, all right, I suppose so. I'll take a look at the clip. <laughs> um, look. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I just, um, uh, well, this is a really stupid question, and uh, particularly in view of our recent shopping excursion. But uh, I just wondered if by any chance, um, uh, I mean, obviously not, because I am just some kid who's only slept with nine people, but I, I just wondered, uh, I really feel, um, uh, in short, uh, to recap in a slightly clearer version, uh, in the words of David Cassidy, in fact, um, while he was still with the Partridge family, uh, I think I love you. And very nice. Very nice. <laughs> I've, I've never seen a man so unhappy about clip time before. <laughs> That's great. That looks like a great movie. Um, yeah, well, yes, it's. Um... You know, I'm an eternal pessimist. I always assume everything's going to flop horribly, but, uh... That was... That was in no way a portent of anything that's going to happen. <laughs> um, and the David Ganassi delight? Now... But, uh, but well, I haven't finished my sentence. Oh, please. But it has oh, got you. a... Um, I'll dribble some more. But it has got a fantastic buzz about it. Um, all over the country. So I, I, it should be good. Look at you mastering English terminology. A fantastic buzz about it. A buzz was very American. Wasn't that it? is very American, yeah. isn't it? Are you here for a fortnight? <laughs> This is actually important. Are your, are your fans, do you think they're, do you get recognized in America at all now? Well, not enough for my taste, no. I mean, um, <laughs> I, I'd like a bit more. There are some nutters who've seen um, Lair of the White Worm who occasionally come up and say, hey, great movie, you know. But they are the people who I think then go out and machine gun people in McDonald's and stuff. <laughs> That's probably not the audience want to aim for in a lot of it's movies. Not, it's not our target audience right now. Ah. But um, there are, I mean, there's a, there's a very weird policeman, uh -huh. cop, cop, in, in um, mm -hmm. In New York, who Pig. I met once. Yeah. <laughs> Slang. No, 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 no. He was he was nice. Well, he wasn't nice. He he, um, I, he said, "Would you send me a postcard when you get back to London?" And being nice, I did. And and then he started to call me. And uh, to begin with, it was just once every you know fortnight. The cop. And um, the cop. Yeah. And then it was every day. And then it was sort of almost every four hours. Pretty weird, huh? Yeah. And so uh, in the end, I didn't take the calls. And then I went to. Charleston to do some filming once and right. four in the morning. It was him again on the line. Really? Hey man, yeah. But he's really he's really weird. Doesn't this guy have a beat to work or he just follows you around? No, I think I am his beat. <laughs> <laughs> well that's great. Do you like the band Guns N' Roses by any chance? I, I haven't actually heard of them, but are they good? <laughs> do they have cable over there in England or uh... What is, what is that for? Guns N' Roses is a lovely plan. Uh, we actually have their... their uh, Guns N' Roses... Oh, forget it. Here's the... Guns N' Roses is this band, and there's this imposter band that plays Guns N' Roses, and we have them here tonight. Well, that sounds great. All right, here they are. They're going to be in a 24 hours in rock and roll special. There are four men from Boston who have been approved as the official Guns N' Roses cover band. Please welcome the Rosie Pistols, everybody.